So most people think that data centers are just servers and racks, but there's actually an invisible software layer that powers a full data center. Today, I'm gonna to break down that software layer from cooling to power management and observability. Let's get started. Step one, facility controls. This is a piece of software that runs the building itself. It's called a building management system, and it's like the nervous system of the data center. It doesn't care about the apps or the cloud. All it cares about is keeping the air cold, the servers alive, and power on. Step two, awareness and visibility. In data centers, we use a software called DSIM, or Data Center Infrastructure Management Software. Think of it as a dashboard that shows your full data center. So operators can view capacity, know what racks are filled, and also see how much power is being utilized in real time. This is the software layers where operators live. It allows them to plan and react as their data center grows. Now let's zoom into the IT side. This is where you have softwares like virtualization and orchestration. What virtualization does is it takes a piece of hardware like a server and slices it up to different forms of compute, multiplying the number of applications you can run on a server. What orchestration does is it decides where the application is run in your data center. Now, when the user logs into a cloud like AWS, AWS might use Kubernetes as the orchestration platform to route your apps. And then they might use VMware as a virtualization platform to run your application on their specific data center hardware. Of course, none of this matters if it's not secure. Data centers have firewall racks, intrusion detection, compliance checks, and cybersecurity requirements to keep hackers and regulators off your back. We keep our data center secure with a key in our firewall rack, as you can see here. In the age of AI, the data center software stack is changing. No longer are we just showing recommendations or making changes manually, but now software is autonomously controlling the data center, from the BMS system to the DSIM to virtualization and orchestration. This is the new leap forward in the data center software stack. So that's the full software stack of a data center, going from the BMS system to the DSIM, virtualization, orchestration, security, and AI and automation. With all of these systems in place, you can run a data center. If you like this type of videos, make sure you click the like and consider subscribing for more videos.